Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, let's continue playing as the Enclave Reconstruction Authority, as we are fighting a war against the Washington Brotherhood and her allies, which includes Port Ma, as well as the Broken Coast, which sucks. Right now, Kimolt Station, Chimolt Station is also fighting the Brotherhood, Washington Brotherhood, I should say, but the Washington Brotherhood is running out of manpower. They're on all adults serve, while the Kimolt Station is also... Out of manpower. Ooh. That's why I sent my division this way to help defend. Um, let's see. Actually, I have some guys down here that could be really used over here. Some gunships, please. Thank you. And I have an extra division down here, which is just gonna hang out next to the Desert Rangers because... Why not? That's pretty much it. Cool. Go ahead and come there when you're ready. Um, yeah. I definitely want to take out the Desert Rangers eventually. And then get to the Sky Reavers to get to Area 51 so I can get Plasma Tech. Um, right now, I didn't realize, but I already sent uh, an expedition to the, both the Cyclops Tribes and as well as the Bone Pickers, which I can hopefully economically get them to come to me. I won't do Arroyo yet, just because I'm not ready for war. They reject me, so there's that. But other than that, let's continue playing on. I did play this just a little bit ahead of time from where I left off last time. But I'm going to tell our guys to go ahead and start pushing. Because that's what I really, really want. <clears throat> And using our gunships, we should do some pretty okay damage. Three, three and a half points of damage to the enemies. Not bad. Um, Kimolt Station will start losing pretty badly, though, because, like I said, they're out of manpower. God dang it, come on, guys. Why are you doing this to me? That's not cool. That's really not cool. Alright, I hope you guys are having a great day. I didn't realize, but I can para-drop these paratroopers, but I don't really have enough transports for that so oh well let's see do we need do we need anything over here roll out technology to scavengers could be good for fast research speed i think i'm going to hang on to everything for right now we're doing the greatest power in the wastes and i'm going to go for more army or division attack right now we're building up a radar station down here which is fine and then some civilian factories and then up to another military factory are death claws an endangered species? With the revival of the EPA, one of the more vocal debates is whether North America's latest apex or uh, predator, the death claw, is entitled to protection. Once a terrible threat, the deployment of heavy weaponry has reduced its natural habitat, and some scientists estimate that it could one day become extinct. We could preserve this proud animal, a testament to nature's fortitude through adversity. On the other hand, farmers complain that death claws make off with their Brahmin children. Are you kidding me? Kill them all? Which I'm okay with war support for now. A death claw like the bald eagle symbolizes America. I like that. I get more political power that way. Uh, can't do that just yet. Having a good time down here. Uh, go ahead and just keep attacking. Uh, we can't pierce them, but that's okay. So right now we did the greatest power in the wastes. I eventually do want to get down to support cause of partisans, which hurts the Washington Brotherhood to get to Masters of the Wasteland, which I get a claim on every state, which is awesome. But I need more stability to actually do this. So that the Desert Rangers leaves the Nevada Pact and can't join any faction. Or I just get a lot more military members. And then I can just straight up annex them. Uh, next up, I'm going to do Brotherhood of Steel because I will cause a civil war in the Brotherhood of Steel faction. Which sounds good and dandy to me. Ooh, are we actually winning? We kind of are. They don't have air superiority because we're amazing. So that's good. These guys are actually doing a pretty good job. Chris Hamilton's pretty darn good. He's becoming a trickster, which is kind of nice. And with that port, I must now begin thinking about coastal divisions. Coasts. Coast guards. Coast guardinos. There you go. Save. Uh, reduce it. Reduce it to 10 combat width. 10 combat width should be more than enough for guarding all these ports. Going to leave all the sport equipment on there. Explosive support, don't really need that. Coast Guards, going to be two at a time. That'll be good. Spawn at the den, and we got a lot of manpower, which is really nice. And we are still mobilizing, which is awesome. Uh, let's see, Kamal Station hasn't been... Oh, they are starting to lose a little bit, it looks like. Yeah, oh, they just got encircled. That's really not good. That's going to spell the end of Kamal Station. I'm going to tell my guys to stop moving, first of all, just because I don't want these guys to get cut off, because Kamal Station already got cut off. So that's not good. Hold your ground. The infantry down here should be okay. <clears throat> maybe, maybe not. Let's see what happens. I got coffee here anyway, so. Now, I'm okay if they take this area over. My biggest concern 
is if they can the enemy Brotherhood of Steel, the Washington Brotherhood, can push back my infantry divisions. They ha are, are almost out of manpower, which is great. Brotherhood of Steel, I'm going to go ahead and do learning from each other, so I get 600 units of Enclave T-51 P-B power armor. They get the gunship, but I get the event of Brotherhood Liberals. Um, you know what, maybe I'll just wait. Maybe I'll just wait for that. Uh, we'll, we'll do that in a little bit. Let's see, legitimacy, I lose it for more oligarchy, more resources. Do I need more resources? I really do need more resources. I need more advanced technology and electronics. And that'll give me a little bit more advanced technology. Or emergency labor draft, where I lose legitimacy and recruitable population factor, but I can construct things faster. Actually, I'm going to do that just because I might lose some population, but I get 10% more construction speed and factory output, which I could really use right now. Let's see. Pressure the bone pickers or cyclops. Well, someone told me to do only the cyclops for now, so I'm going to do that. Roll out technology. Uh, this just helps us with... Oh. Researching things a little bit faster. We have five research slots, so it's never enough. But, yeah, I forgot about this. Obviously, it's not on the top of my mind. Uh, obviously, I've also told my guys that don't worry about defending. The Kimball Station people will die. And hopefully, we can have one solid line here of power armor that can't be pierced. And that we can drain the Brotherhood of Resources, which would be great. And then when they capitulate the Kimball Station, we can cut off the Brotherhood from where they're currently at just destroy them all. Just cut them off, destroy them all with our infantry, and have a good time with them. Nice. Basic power armor reliability has gone up. Uh, can I do max? Does max speed help for any of this? What's our max speed right now? I don't know if doing these small little research things will actually help my power armor, because right now we have a max speed of 4.4. This is a test that if I do... Yeah, because these are all different... Defense, Initiative, Reconnaissance, and then Soft Attack. So, if this actually works, we're going to get 10% more max speed. We have 4.4 right now, and in the future we should have a little bit more. I definitely need Broken Top. Oh, and they're definitely attacking us. Just hold on, guys. Can my infantry pierce them? Yes. Our infantry can pierce them. I did put an anti-tank on those guns, so that's actually really, really good. Uh, this is a little bit dangerous right now. I'm going to tell you guys to go ahead and just do a fallback line around all of Kimmelt Station's territory. That should be good. That should be really good. Another division of power armor, great, because I'm going to actually need them to push. Uh, you guys doing a great job. Ooh, there's an airport there. Esports declared war on Cyclops tribes. That's not good. Mmm, coffee's great, though. Coffee is really quite great. So, oh man, I hope they don't lose. I really want to annex Cyclops tribes. Oh, they're probably going to lose. Esports by the people, some manpower. You guys have very little manpower and quite a few divisions. That's alright. We'll be able to take them out later on anyways, so. Uh, it looks like they're trying to break through. Take you and just end up right there. Get that extra infantry in there. If we possibly can. Oh yeah, that's the end of the Kamal Station. But I am draining the enemy of the resources. Right now the loss is for us. Yeah, better radar. 330 compared to the Washington Brotherhood's 14,000. We've killed 6.7 thousand Brotherhood members of the Washington Brotherhood. That's pretty bad, guys. That's pretty bad. Um, resource efficiency game. We're already pretty far ahead of technology, so let's come back here. Get some more defense. Emergency labor draft. Nice. Free of bottle caps. Department of Energy. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, actually, wait. Before I do that, can I do anything for my Department of Defense? Home defense, defense on core territory. Am I defending core territory over here? No, that's colony state. Down here is a colony state, and over here is a core state. So it could help a little bit if I do home defense. We get more stability, which is good. Actually, I might just do that. Then we get more population factor, defensive war penalty, stability modifier. Let's do home defense first. Oh, and let's get some more attack while we're at it. Nice. That, that will play very well into this. Good. They try to push us in. I'm going to push them back out. Alright, so I'm going to let the Kamalt Station die first. I think that'll probably be good. Since we're doing pretty well defending against the Brotherhood, dive bombing even helps us further for more air superiority missions. I love it. Um, we got a lot of manpower. I need more gunships. Give me those gunship boys. What are we constructing? Lots of military factories and repairing a lot of things. That's okay to repair things. 
But I'm gonna need some more planes up north eventually. Because that'll be good. That will actually be very good. Can they pierce us? No, but we can pierce them with our infantry. Can our power armor pierce the enemy? No, and that's okay. I'm just draining the Brotherhood, the Washington Brotherhood, of a lot of resources. So, Supreme Court enjoys mandatory volunteers. The Constitution makes it clear. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude shall exist within the U.S. or any place subject to its jurisdiction. In the groundbreaking case of R Rose Cassidy v. California Reconstruction Authority, the Supreme Court has affirmed that no American can be enslaved. This may hinder the government's plans for reconstruction, but has hailed, been hailed by the New World Party as a tremendous victory for the rights of every American. We lose stability. Oh, God, no. Uh... I can't do this because I, I'm not going presidential dictatorship. God dang it. So we lose slave labor or indentured servitude, which actually, I don't think I took either one. Maybe I did. I can't remember. Vaccinations, gun runners, fruits of irrigation, labor drop horses, department of manufacturing. I don't think I took it. Yeah, I'm getting penalized for it. God dang it. <sighs> mm, gotta love coffee. Anything else I can do here? Not really. There's no way for him to get more stability, which really sucks. Um, they're just constantly trying to attack us, but I'm going to attack them right back. Get pierced, boy. I'm getting pierced. I'm really just kind of waiting for them to finish off Kamalt Station, because it'll be easier for them. And once Kamalt Station is gone, then it's just pop, and they're all dead. Should I wait? Should I not wait? What do we got? We got another power armor division. Nice. I mean, the power armor will be able to push more than fine. Hopefully. Um, you know what? I'll tell you guys not to do that. I'm going to tell you guys to come from here down to here. Go and reorganize yourselves. Get some planning bonus in there. Um, but I don't, nothing we can do there. Hold military theory committee. Scavenge for old world tech. Using power armor. Um, we get lose defense, planning speed, max planning. Nah, I think that, I think we're okay for now. I mean, they're just attacking us like crazy. Zach's technology, faster research speed, very nice. Um, air doctrine's pretty good. Better nuclear salvage dive bombers sound amazing. Oh wait, actually, you come over here. <clears throat> nice, Venice. Cool. Home defense, great. More stability. I really need that. National guard to get even. More good stuff. Reform general staff. Military leader costs. Revive the Air Force. Military propaganda. Division organization and recovery rate. Draft American citizens in an emergency. Discipline soldiers. Political power. I'm going to go with National Guard because that sounds like fun. Who doesn't love the National Guard? Alright. Uh, I want to attack here, but I don't know if I have enough resources to really do that. So we're going to attack from this direction. Oh, I guess not. That's alright. Don't worry about it. Right now, we are just demolishing any of the enemies that try to say no to us. So good. Oh, I still have transports, which... I don't have enough transports. I really don't make transports. I really don't ever use paratroopers. Just because whenever I have tried to use them, it always somehow goes wrong. Or just not very good for me or something. I've always messed up somehow trying to use paratroopers. Or, yeah, paratroopers. Uh, good. Besides, this ward does give us... Ooh! Ghost guards. Coasts. Very nice. Thank you very much. I appreciate your commitment to the war. I'll put you under Scott Blair because he has some debuffs that I do not like. Let's do that for now. Uh, pretty much all over where there ever is water. And I probably will do this when there is victory points or even uh, lower resistance probably in the future. Do that. That's good. Nice. Awesome. And, you know, at this point, I'm trying to wait for them to k kill. Kamalt Station really sucks, so I'm not going to wait for them. I'm just going to go ahead and do it myself. Let's see. Robotics, vehicles, scab stuff. We don't really use vehicles very much, which is fine with me. Uh, for our infantry, though, better recon could be nice. Better machine guns sound very good to me. Very, very good. Venice. Send couriers to Eastport. Ooh, when removed... East port is integrated into the American economy and cultural sphere, and we can begin negotiating negotiations for them to enter the Union. Oh, heck yeah, do that. I love how political power in this part of, in this mod still has an effect. 
on what you do, or can still be used at least. Because in a lot of just you know vanilla Hoi Four, even some other mods, eventually when you get to a certain point, political power is kind of a waste. But at least, ooh, guarantee nuts. Oh crap! I don't want to guarantee them. Oh crap! That's not good. Ooh, that's gonna probably be a stability hit if I ask for a guarantee or whatever. I'm not gonna do anything about that. But um, yeah, I do like that. There's a lot of events where you can use your political power still, which is, in my opinion, a very very good thing. Uh, can we win here? We do have, we still have air superiority, which is great. I love it. Nice, very good. We're just slowly pushing them back, super slowly. And we got another air base. Nice. With what? Five divisions that we can are all infantry. We can pierce the enemy's divisions. Amazing. Amazing. But we can't win all the time. Uh, but if we just keep throwing more divisions at it, we might just win. We're still doing military factories. Great. I have a foundry, but I really need electronics and advanced technology. What are we going to build up? Infrastructure? Not yet. I want more civilian factories first. I want a crap ton of civilian factories. So this way, when we start building things, building the roads, I'm going to build so many at one time. It's not even funny. Like, a crap ton. Ah, we can win there, but that's alright. National Guard, very nice. Department of Homeland Security, we get more stability and double bonus for electronics. Alright, these guys will definitely crack this time. Nice. Oh, they're just melting. Oh, it's so good. What are the casualties like? 21,000. That's insane. We've killed 14,000 of them ourselves. Just awesome. Alright. Um, actually, ooh, if I take all but one, we might be able to come this way and just cut off all of the brother Washington Brotherhood's divisions down here. That would be devastating if we can actually do that. Oh my goodness. Please let us do that. They're done. They're just done. Uh, go ahead. If you can. Three, two, go ahead. Okay, no one's doing it. Alright, let's go ahead and reorganize this first. Combat armor, more defense, nice. More, ooh, infantry and motorized piercing. I love it. Do that. Go ahead when you can. Three, two, you've had more than enough time, even though I didn't tell you what to do. And it's, all these divisions are going to die. Oh my goodness. 22,000. Look at all these divisions that are trapped in here. Once these guys are gone, we're just going to push north. There's nothing they can do to stop us. Well, maybe except for the Broken Coast, since we can't really reach them. But Washington Brotherhood is the only one that we really need to take out, which is great. Uh, reinforce rate, reinforce rate. That's not bad to do either. But I like more defense and breakthrough. Especially the breakthrough part. More, The more breakthrough you have, the less casualties you'll probably take. Ooh. What is this? Cyclops tribes are getting killed by Eastport. Uh, when removed, replace tribal nation with settler nation. And they get less population, but more construction speed and training time. Well, they're dying right now. And I don't really want to upset them too much. Pressure the bone pickers economically. Uh, I think we're at this point in the game where I'm okay with that. Oh, actually. Ooh, this hurts us a little bit, but I don't mind getting more stability because I could really use more stability now. Nice. Are we building more? Oh, I need more I need a lot of gunships. Like, I need so many gunships that it's going to be ridiculous how many I build. Like, I want a crap ton of gunships because when I go to war, or the Brotherhood will have their civil war, there's going to be a lot of dead people because of the gunships. Ooh, we get more population, and then def division defense on core territory and recruitable population sounds pretty good. Specialist training. I definitely need to do this stuff, but I need to do that. Um, We've done that for quite a bit. Uh, I know what we need to do. We need to start coring our own territory, so let's get the gecko power plant and then rebuild the power grid. That'll be very important, so I can actually core a lot of the territory here. Alright, you guys. You have permission to go ham. Just take it all so that they don't get it. Come this way, come this way. Just, this is devastating. And with this war, we do get a lot more, uh... Oh, my God, that's devastating. Oh, it's so beautiful. Um, go ahead and reorganize your line, because I'm going to use both armies right now to push north. Eh, someone got injured, whatever. Capitol Hill. Oh, we're coming for you, boys and girls. We coming for you. Give about five seconds before I actually do one hell of a push. 
and actually move both planes up this direction, or at least that plane. Nice. Oh, we definitely need more gunships, though. Uh, more gunships. <clears throat> yeah, just keep making those military factories, boys and girls, whoever you are. Direct ground support. Nice. Even more ground support. I always do mission efficiency. Aces are okay. I don't really know too much of a difference, but they're just alright. Just go ahead and push. Just... We can't win everywhere, just like what we just lost in Cap Sherman, but whatever. And after I have a sip of coffee... 27,000 casualties. We've nearly killed 20,000 enemies just from ourselves. Wait, why am I doing... I did this earlier. Why am I doing that when I already have gunships? I don't know why. I always forget that I have gunships. I am very special. Uh, cool. You guys, you guys can probably just come back down here, actually. Just kind of hang out. Awesome. The Gecko Power Plant. Great. And rebuild the Power Grid. Which, actually... Uh, a bunch of places get one civilian power grids to connect the local populations to your power grid and your control, the chem trade. Control of New Reno and Ball City has given the Enclave control over West's, or the West's pharmaceutical industry. Some suggest the Enclave revive old ties with criminal syndicates and seize the waste chem trade. Others suggest we legalize the chem trade in our territory and take a cut. But some reformers claim we do better to turn out mentates and antibiotics instead of jet and trade for rare goods. They're probably hunting Brahmin shit. Huffing Brahmin shit. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I can't monetize this video ever. I probably will try to someday, but not realize I said the S word. Anyways, uh, lose legitimacy. Mm, no thanks, no thanks. I gain legitimacy, and I need that stuff. Let us heal the nation's wounds. Legalizing jet is a swing issue for today's youth. I want more stability, but I want more legitimacy at the moment. Because I can still benefit from getting legitimacy. So, no problem there. Actually, I lied. <clears throat> You're not coming that way. You're coming down here. Yeah. Because even though the Brotherhood has lost quite a lot of divisions, they still have 26. And they still have somewhat significant allies. So, that's good. That's good. Keep going. You're good. Ooh. Eastport becomes a federal commonwealth. Ooh. When done, Enclave Eastport will become my puppet. I'll screw that. If I have to go to war with the Cyclops tribes... Hmm. You know, I'm going to do bum pickers first, just because they'll probably be okay with me doing that. Alright, so overall, I mean, I think overall, we're doing okay. We're not doing great in some areas, obviously, as you can tell. I mean, the supply situations in some areas are just bad. Whispers of hope, I've already done several times. So I'm going to get some, some stability and political power. Uh, Cyclops join free so society. I don't want to waste political power on a group of people that might die, but we're going to risk it. Nice. Oh my goodness, this is not good. Fear Factor, very nice. Reclaim a flagship. Right, Fear Factor 2. Let's get a salvage missile launcher because our infantry or our... Yeah, our infantry could use probably some better stuff there. Gunships just pour it on me, baby. Go ahead and stop for now. Oh, we've actually expanded down there, nice. Rebid the power grid. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Just creating the rangers, war with each other. Free of bottle caps. Department of Energy, we will definitely need that. Go ahead and just kind of hang out for now. I need you guys to get down here first. I want my guys to reorganize themselves first before we do very much else. I think that would be for the best. Do that there. Power outages. Oh, it appears one or more of our states have lost connection to our power grid. Both the lives of the inhabitants and our control of the region have grown dependent on electricity, and without we lose our grasp on them, and New Reno is no, no longer a state. That's not good. New Reno, how are you not a state? It's all a police force. Um, how are you not a state anymore? Where's that power grid? Oh, crap, I can't... Oh, I'm building too much in New Reno. Uh, okay, well, I guess I have to... Record. I mean, you do lose electricity when you do it, but I have enough at the moment that I feel okay about it. Alright, let our guys just kind of hang out here, have a good time. Okay, I don't care what whether you think this is good or not, I need you up here immediately. And, alright, our guys look okay. We should be able to push fairly decently now that I've got my guys to get planning, to get reorganized, and my soldiers got cut off. God dang it. Alright, never mind. 
I need you down here immediately. Cut these guys off, because our guys are probably going to be dying. Enclave Remnants, you go as well. Push them out. You stall them there. Good. Good, and actually I want you to push this way, because you're probably not doing super well. That's a problem when your divisions decide to move, or decide to not move, which can really screw you up. Alright. This is a problem around here. I really hate how some of these rivers are actually functioning. Uh, actually, I'm going to take you come down there. Just soak up all this area. Just soak up all this. Do that. Department of Energy, very nice. Lighting up the night, yes, please. Good. Just take all that stuff. Good. Alright, so we should have enough space here for these stupid infantry divisions to get up where they need to be. And they really want to attack us. But what else is new? Mechanized training, nice defense breakthrough. Uh, advanced energy weapons, I guess I might as well do that now. We got a lot of political power. Um, Eastport becomes a federal commonwealth. Now if I do this, and they become my puppet, will I go to war with the Cyclops tribes? They have no manpower. They have quite a few divisions, which could hurt us quite a bit if we do nothing about it. Um, it is a little worrisome, so I might just wait to do that. Let's do this first. Do I need anything besides gunships? No. So, we'll come back over here. And, let's see, artillery, division attrition, ground support, air superiority, entrenchment, army reformer could be nice. Recovery, All-American Badass, and Calm Leader. I'm going to do this just because we get less supply consumption and more organization, which is really, really beneficial to us. Incredibly beneficial. Alright, um... Come on, infantry, get your butts in there. You messed up last time. What do we tell these guys to go ahead? Yeah, I want these guys finished off as fast as possible. Ooh, chem stations, anti-tank piercing, yes please. Awesome. Whispers of hope. Even more political power instability. Oh, yes, please. Oh, yeah. We could do that. Just encircle that one division and take them out. Ooh, can candlelight vigil in De Greater Diglo. People have gathered in Greater Diglo to remember one year since the, great the Greater Diglo Massacre. Uh, break it up. Uh, let them have their little ceremony. I lose a little bit of war support. So be it. Um... I want a lot of gunships. Eh, get some transports on there too. I don't think I'll ever use some of this stuff, but that's alright. Come on. Nice. Take it, crush it, destroy it. Do that. As the power armor and other infantry divisions are just going to go ham. Just go ham at this point. Ooh, adaptable. Oh yeah, definitely do that. But I can't do that because I don't have command power. Nice, we're pretty much done with this page. With the uh, electronics, which is nice. Hmm, I'm starting to run out of things to research. Do that one next. Oh, we got encircled. That was a bad idea. Uh, send you this direction to help push them out. Bone pickers, guaranteeing them. Come on, push them out. Awesome. Oh, that's actually power armor division. So really, the war against the Brotherhood is going to take a a little bit longer than I anticipated, just because it's so huge, there's so much territory I have to take up here. Nice. Another division, great. Oh, you guys have actually done okay. What if I told you to push? If possible, if possible. Push these guys out. Give me half of you guys and just end up over here to cut these guys off down here. God, the Brotherhood still has so many divisions. It's going to take so long to kill them. They're not even close to capitulating, which is insanely stupid. But they have been running out of divisions, which is good. Oh, they're actually attacking, which is good as well. But, oh god, I don't have enough divisions. I hate the terrain here so much. It's so bad. I just need more divisions, really. So, put you two more on those. Put two more over there as well. Oh, this is, this is not good. I need you to come back down here. 
Mm, ooh. Oh, these guys got in a circle. God dang it. Yeah, this is terrible. I hate the geography of this place so much. We're going to have to retreat from here. I need you to come over here and actually stall them out. Stall them out. These guys, the infantry over here, are just pushing like crazy, which is great. But at this point, it looks like I'm going to have to manually control like some of this power armor just because it really sucks. If I can just take North Mall, that'd be great. Just destroy these infantry divisions if you can. The enemy divisions, that's just the biggest thing. I need to get up to Capitol Hill as fast as possible. So you guys got that to do. The infantry are doing fine. Just please don't give them a break. All right, we're abandoning the abandoning this area, which is fine for now. And as long as I can get rid of these guys, you are heading this way, and then taking going that way. You guys come up here, 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 here. I need you to come through here, 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 here. Good. Another division. Great. I need it. I need every single division I can get right now. These guys are encircled, but not really. Ooh, that's free, free bottle caps. The end of bottle caps. Bottle caps were an ingenious solution to the wasteland's problems. How do you create a currency with no government? The original bottle caps were backed by pour potable water from the hub and became... Because the bottle caps could not be replaced in post-war conditions, they had a fixed store of value. But as the wasteland's economy grew, the number or the limited supply of bottle caps meant more goods were chasing less money. Hmm. Discouraging economic growth. With the return of old glory to the waste, the government can impose a rational currency with worth whatever the government says it's worth. Less consumer goods, but a little bit less stability, so be it. Um, I will end the episode soon, but let's see. We've got a few things we can do here. Ooh, super heavy barge. Let's go with the sailing ship next in Gunderson. And then... American broadcasting thingy. Yeah, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. I need to move this way. Come up that way. Oh man, this is probably a terrible idea. I need you to get to Capitol Hill. The infantry are pushing quite nicely. So, I'm going to tell you guys to come over here and just thrash them as best you can. The other divisions here are kind of a mixed bag because this is really bad. Uh, I really don't want to do this. This is really bad. You're probably going to get encircled. Yeah, I'm probably going to lose you. Don't even try that. Just come on back down south. Uh, for you, come over here. This guy's out. You can plug up this southern hole here. I mean... Yeah, I just need more divisions. Like, it's ridiculously bad. Uh, yeah, stop. Stop pushing him in. Stop letting him come in. Yeah, destroy that division. That'd be great. Advanced combat armor. Uh, reinforce rate sounds good to me. Hopefully the infantry... Yeah, the infantry are just mopping up the territory on the right here, which is great. While most of the enemy divisions are on the left, which kind of sucks. Kind of, kind of, kind of sucks. Alright, just focus on these guys. Taking them out. Take them out. And they're mostly all gone. They're coming back around through here. Really, I guess I'm going to just use my infantry to push right. Oh, God. Dang it. Mm -hmm. You come back out. You guard this area. The infantry are doing fine. Just don't want to get them encircled. Come this way. Come that way. Yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. This is honestly pretty ridiculous. They have lower number of divisions, but they just have so many of them. So many divisions. Um, we're probably going to do entertainment broadcasts, probably. That sounds good to me. Could use more military factories as well. And then a civilian power grid. Sounds good to me. We'll do that there. Cool. Um, well, I'm pretty much, that's probably going to be today's episode because I can't really do very much about any of this, which really kind of sucks. So, let's do this real quick, and we're just going to say, go right ahead, and just go wherever you can. Uh, I like how I just said divisions come from here, and then go back across the river. 
to have other divisions come here and do whatever they need to do. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, go ahead and just poop these guys out. I need divisions, like, in the field right now. Um, yeah. All right, so, I hope you enjoyed the episode today, guys. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as I am desperately trying to finish up the Washington Brotherhood as fast as possible. Because once they're gone, then the wastes will probably be easy enough to take out. Thanks for watching, guys.